Medical Research Council has launched a state-of-the-art facility. It will help refine the science of genomics for personalized medicines. The facility is through a collaboration between the Beijing Genomics. And here to tell us more is the South African Medical Research Council Senior Programmer Manager, Rizwana May. Rizwana, good to have you with us. Talk us through what this all means. Hi, it's good to be here. Thank you. Um, this facility offers whole human genome sequencing um, at large scale. This is something that we do not have in South Africa in terms of uh, genomic sequencing, human genome sequencing. And the high throughput facility will allow us to do this at scale. All right, so what has led you to this point? I remember doing a story a long time ago in Kenya where they were actually working with genomes in plants. I mean, is this the same sort of research? Is this, has this helped in any way to get us where we are today? Um, th if you look at uh, the way medicine is going today, I mean, in the first world countries, uh, people are offered precision medicine and precision health care. And in order for us to even get to that point, we have to understand our population genomics. We have to understand patients in relation to the population they live in and therefore be able to administer tailored uh, treatment or the right treatment for the right patient at the right time. And so this sort of scientific uh, research is mainly done uh, on humans, um, and the knowledge that we gain will help us unpack our human diversity, our genetic diversity in the sub-Saharan region, and um, help us move towards a precision medicine future. Yes, I, I believe it'll reveal hidden secrets to our genetic makeup. I mean, that all sounds pretty exciting. And I know that you've been working with HIV patients in this regard. I mean, how close are we to getting to that point where we are able to more effectively tackle the diseases that we are seeing today? So our first pilot study that we are going to embark on is looking at um, at at HIV infected people who are able to control the virus because they do not progress to AIDS and we're looking at the differences in their innate immunity uh, in relation to those people who progress to AIDS. This could give us many answers in our fight against HIV and our pathway to finding a cure. Okay, and I suggest, I, I, I guess, rather that we'll live longer possibly and possibly healthier lives if you are able to crack this. Oh, uh, longevity is a big question that many of us scientists are asking. Uh, but of course, uh, you know, all, all of this genomic science that contributes to a knowledge base uh, will help us understand ourselves better and help us manage our burden of disease better. Essentially, we'll be able to make more effective drugs. If you look at um, many drugs today, uh, they're not relevant in the populations that they are administered in. And uh, by having a good understanding of population genetics and being able to make drugs that are suitable for different people, uh, that is the ultimate goal in management of treatment to disease. And it certainly sounds very exciting. It makes sense you doing this. What sort of time frame are we looking at here? Um, we've just completed phase one at the center. We did our first six human genomes um, and we're looking at embarking on this pilot study to take us to scale. And then we'd look at uh, positioning ourselves to do a large scale population study on our population. Uh, if you look at sub-Saharan Africa, we have a large degree of human genetic diversity and we need to understand this and especially if you look at our burden of disease we are affected with a quadruple burden of disease so if we want to sustainably understand how we're going to tackle this burden of disease we need to understand the people that are affected and Rizwana talk us through the and employment genetics plays a key role okay tell talk us about the employment opportunities that you are projecting So uh, genomic science is very different 
in the sense that it is an interdisciplinary sort of field. You're talking about uh, trying to groom talent that is uh, cross-disciplinary between data science and molecular biologists, geneticists, and uh, bioinformaticians, as well as mathematicians and physicists that could be utilized to help understand all this big data that we're generating at the center. So hopefully, we're going to start uh, with regard to capacity development in this area and uh, possibly move into these fields so that we could be comparable to other first world countries that are well established in this field. Okay, exciting stuff. Thank you for talking us through it, Rizwana Mai.